Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Revive here, and uh, today we're going to be talking about something pretty interesting. It's about the gun you're seeing on your screen, because this thing has survived so much, it's still an overpowered gun. It, and we're going to kind of go into depth on why it's overpowered. I got some official stats, not just the ones that are on, you know, the, the Call of Duty game that say the damage and stuff like that. Got some more info on the gun. But before we start, quickly, I want to say I do now have a Twitter account. I just made it. Uh, so if you want to go follow me on Twitter, guys, I'll leave a link down in the description below. Um, I haven't posted anything, so there's nothing there, but I will try to keep you guys up to date on that. So if you guys want to be up to date, go ahead and go follow me on Twitter, guys. Um, I just started up, and like I said, link will be down in the description below. So make sure you go hit that follow over there as well. And subscribe here, guys. If you're new to this channel, I just wanted to go ahead and say subscribe if you aren't already. I do post every other day. Uh, I did post yesterday just because there was some breaking news and stuff like that. And I'll leave a link down in the description below for that video so you can go check that out. But other than that, guys, let's get right into it. And let's talk about why the bar is so overpowered, even though it has already had, it's already had like two nerfs, I believe. And um, this gun is still a monster in the battlefield. And we're going to kind of break it down on why it's such a monster. All right, so let's go ahead and start off with the stats that are put on by uh, Sledgehammer. And what you see whenever you're over this gun on the, you know, created class. So you do unlock this around level 52, I believe. And the damage, according to the game, is 7. The range is 6. Accuracy is 5. And fire rate is 7. So that's it, pretty much. This gun holds 20 rounds without extended mag. Pretty kind of straightforward, um, you know, stats. Nothing too in-depth. Nothing that kind of says, oh, this is why this gun's overpowered. Uh, but the damage is pretty good. Seven, I'm guessing out of, I don't know what their max is in the game. I'm, I'm, let's just say 12. Seven out of 12 is the max for everything. I don't really know what the max is. Um, but it's a pretty good damage. It's pretty high damage. It has a nice range, and that is true. Whenever you're using this gun, the range is really nice. Accuracy is pretty good. This gun is pretty accurate. Although with the nerfs, it is a little less accurate, but not too much to where it affect you. And the fire rate is pretty slow, but it's still kind of doable. If you put rapid fire, this thing is even better. Trust me, it's even better if you have rapid fire. Um, but quickly, before we get into the official stats, just some of my opinions on why I think this gun is super good is because even though they have claimed to buff the re or to nerf the recoil, um, this gun still has no recoil whatsoever. It's still very easy to manage. It shoots very far. And trust me, guys, if you put a reflex side on this, it's, it's pinpoint. Very accurate. It's very accurate. Um, also, the damage. This thing is pretty much like a three-shot, two-shot kill. And according to the official stats on this website, and I will link it down below in the description, you guys can go check it out. Uh, the damage, according to this, is 40 to 29 on multiplayer. So I'm guessing it takes away about 40% to 29% health, depending on what range you're shooting them from with each bullet. So you think about that, guys. Two shots, you're already at... 80 minus 80 percent health and one more shot so it's three shot kill pretty much two shot probably if it's in the head because the headshots are a little weirder in this game but it could also be a one shot i don't know how you know the way it is with the bodies and which parts take away more damage but that's the damage according to this um it is a rifle and the magazine does hold 20 rounds without extended mag with extended mag it holds 30. so not bad does have less rounds, so if you're not going to run extended mag, that is a drawback to this gun. You will have to reload constantly and probably run the forage basic trading just so you can keep restocking on ammo because you will run out quick. The rate of fire is pretty much 625 RPMs, rounds per minute. Um, not bad. It shoots pretty quick. So, uh, I mean, yeah, those are the official stats. Once again, pretty simple stats, but kind of also in depth. Uh, just kind of why this gun is so overpowered. I mean, there's many guns on this game that don't have that high stats. And I'm gonna compare this to the STG-44, one of the other very popular rifles in this game. Now comparing the bar to the STG-44, the damage is significantly lower with the STG-44. Though it does have a fire, uh, faster fire rate at 666 RPMs or rounds per minute, um, the damage is very low for the STG compared to the bar. So you do shoot faster with the STG-44, but the damage is so low that you'll probably get outgunned with the bar. And then that's kind of, in all cases, the situation with this gun. Now, yes, this bar is also very good on all, you know, ranges from long range, short range, and medium range. I mean, this thing is just a monster. 
it pretty much outguns the PPSH. It outguns the grease gun. It outguns any SMG, I should say. And uh, though that is a big problem, it just shows that this thing is a monster, man. Um, so it was nerfed on the hip fire spread, so it does spread more whenever you shoot through the hip fire. But that still doesn't really do much. So this thing is, uh, I, I mean, it's OP. It's really the only thing you can say. This thing is is just overpowered. And of course, I still do believe it needs a nerf. But those are kind of some of the reasons why this gun is so strong. I mean. Once you kind of break down it, once you kind of break down the, the stats and, you know, kind of start thinking about it, those thing does have a pretty slow rate of fire compared to some other, you know, rifles that we have in the game. The damage is pretty strong considering that it's pretty much a three shot kill at any range, um, maybe even two. So that's just crazy alone. So what are my thoughts if they were to, you know, fix this gun to kind of compete with all the other ones or, you know, make the other guns compete with this one? Well, it would either buff all the other rifles and leave the bar the same, or if you're going to nerf the bar, kind of nerf it down on damage probably just a tad bit, not too much because then it'd probably be useless, or or actually, yeah, put the damage down and up the fire rate. I think that would be a pretty good balance when it comes to nerfing the bar. Uh, not recoil, because the recoil, there's none in this game, or in this gun, and uh, the spread, which I feel like there is not much spread when it comes to it firing since... You can still clearly get a kill while hit firing with this gun because it's a two shot kill at any range. So, um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Should it be nerfed? Should it be buffed? Or should it just be left alone and all the other guns buffed? You guys let me know down in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think about the bar in this game because I, I know this thing has a lot of, uh, there's a lot of emotion with this gun. A lot of people will love it, hate it, and some people are neutral about it. But yeah, so let me know what you guys think. But other than that, guys, it's pretty much it for the video. Hopefully, you did enjoy it. Like I said, subscribe if you aren't already, guys. Like this video. And there will be the Twitter uh, link down in the description below. So make sure you go follow me on, on that. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'll see you on the next video, guys.